Otto has recovered from the trauma of the murders, and the hotel is finally returning to normal. The road has been cleared of snow, and now I can return to my job in the city. As for Claudia, she was truly evil. She was the murderess, and now she's sitting behind bars. I hope that she will repent. Thank you very much, Anna. You are a great help in solving these matters. It will be good to see Claudia behind bars. You're welcome. I'm sorry to say this. Our town used to be very quiet, but not anymore. With all the murders at the hotel and the other one here in town. Another murder? Didn't I tell you? We found a body in the market square. When? This morning. His name is Helmut Gras. Helmut? Yes, Helmut. Do you know him? Remember when I told you about a phone call to Claudia at the hotel? Mm, yes. The gentleman said his name was Helmut. Mm. So you think Helmut's death and the hotel murders are connected? That may be the case. Anna, could you stay on for a day or two? I really need help solving this murder. I'm afraid I won't manage this on my own. Well, you could show me the body. Thank you, Anna. Follow me to the market. Helmut Kras from Munich was found dead at 7 a.m. this morning. Notice a stab wound in his chest. We tried to call the police in Munich as they promised to contact his family. But we haven't heard from them yet. Have you seen him before? No, but some people saw him in a bar yesterday. Where was he staying? I don't know. Can we go to the bar? It's closed now, and the key is in my office. I found the bar key. So this is the bar where Helmut was seen yesterday? Yes, I am searching for clues. Have you found anything? Alas, no. Do you mind if I have a look around? No.
Wait, I found a police badge. Did you find anything interesting? I'm not sure. By the way, where is Claudia? Is she still in custody? Yes, she is. Can I ask her a few questions? Of course, let's go. Is there a problem, officer? Something isn't right here. The lock is broken, and the door is open. I have a very bad feeling about this. Oh my god, stand back! Is she dead? Not just dead, murdered! Who could have done this? I don't know, but we must solve this as soon as possible. Anna, look at her arm! What is it? I have never seen anything like this before. It looks like an Indian symbol. I have seen this before. Where? There is a professor staying at the hotel, Professor Clark. He is an expert on the Hindu occult. There must be a connection. I must check Claudia's baggage. Great! I found Walter's book! Look what I have found! I know this book! Let me see the book! Let me guess, it belongs to Professor Clark! Yes, and no. This book was written by Professor Clark. But it is not his book. What do you mean? It belonged to a Mr. Walter McCain. 
He was an admirer of Professor Clark, and he was murdered by Claudia. But what is it doing here? I do not know, and it makes no sense. Could it be that the Professor was helping Helmut recreate some strange Hindu sacrificial rituals? He did mention rituals. Let's check Helmut's body. I wonder if he has the same markings. Anna, look, the same markings. What does it mean? I'm not certain, but it seems like a ritual killing. The professor needs to come here immediately. Do you have a phone? There is a phone in my office. Could it be that he was looking to avenge the murders at the hotel? I don't know, but we better get the professor here as soon as possible. I need to check the body one more time. Great! I found a police uniform button. I wonder what this could mean. I telephoned Professor Clark at his hotel, but it was too late for him to travel. He will be here tomorrow morning. I wonder if he is hiding something. I'm sure Professor Clark is involved, but I don't know how. Is it possible Claudia had help at the hotel? We won't know for sure until tomorrow. Helmut and Claudia were killed with an ancient sacrificial dagger. Professor Clark was the only person who had access to such a weapon. There were a lot of policemen at the hotel. Where did they go? This is a small town in the mountains. We don't have a lot of men on the force. When a case like the hotel case happens, police from the city back us up. Although this time, some of the backup arrived earlier than usual. I see. Wait, does this town have an antique shop? Yes, why do you ask? Would it be possible to see it? The owner is out of town, but the spare keys are right here. Oh, by the way, there was a burglary yesterday. found a shop key. This place is a mess. Well, it always has been. I have no clue how the owner even noticed he was robbed. What was stolen? A pair of ancient daggers. Do you mind if I have a look around? Please.
Wait, I found a ritual dagger. Is this the missing dagger? Where did you find it? I checked this place yesterday and it wasn't here. Perhaps I'm lucky. Or maybe after I left, someone was here. There were two. The other one is still missing. Come, we need to check if this dagger fits the wound on Claudia. Try to compare the dagger with her injuries. Just as I thought. I am almost certain that this dagger was used to kill Claudia and Helmut. But you mentioned there were two of them. Where is the other one? That is what I want to know. I should check Claudia's luggage one more time. Maybe there will be something there. Great! I found a cipher disk. Look what I found. Do you know what this is? It looks like a cipher disk. But it needs a deciphering machine, or it won't make any sense. I found a police badge and a button earlier. Are they from your station? I haven't seen them before. We need to check the station. Anna, I can't find any evidence that the badge is from this town. Does that mean that someone from the city police force left it behind? I just telephoned. No one there knows who it belongs to. This is getting... What just happened? The power went out. Officer, are you there? Yes, come in. What seems to be the problem? The power is out. Don't worry. It's probably the weather. It will fix itself in no time. No, sir. It is definitely not the weather. It is calm. I have checked the wires. Something must be preventing the flow of electricity. I think so. There is a fuse box next to the antique shop, but I have not the key. Will you examine it? Don't worry. Thank you. Anna, did you hear that? Yes. Could you check the fuse box? I must stay here in case anyone needs help. Yes. Here, take this flashlight. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to get new batteries. You need to find a lantern before you can fix anything. Where can I find one? There are a few lanterns in the bar. Go there. I will. You may need these instructions to repair the fuse box. Someone there? Hello? This is strange.
Great. I found a lantern. Got it. But I need something to light it with. I think I saw a matchbox machine in the market. I found a coin. Great, I found some matches. Oh no, they are wet. I could try to dry them at the fireplace in the prison corridor. You do the trick. Let there be light and great timing, too. Now I must go to the fuse box. It seems to be locked. I wonder where I could find the key. Anna, is everything all right? The fuse box is locked. Ah, yes, I forgot. Here, let me get you the key. Well, this is odd. The key is missing. Where did you put the key the last time you used it? All my keys are on this keyring. 
Maybe someone stole it. This is starting to annoy me. Anna, break open that box by any means necessary. I need to find a way to open the box. There should be a crowbar in the pub. Great! I found a crowbar. This should do the trick. I have instructions in my diary which show how these wires should be connected. Finally, I did it. You did it. Well done. Thank you. Did everything go to plan? I'm not sure. I heard footsteps, but no one answered and it was too dark to see. Are you sure they were human? Maybe it was a stray animal. No, it was definitely a man. I think someone might be snooping around town. Someone definitely took the key from my office. What if it's Professor Clark? We shall find out tomorrow. Anna, why don't you spend the night here? With someone snooping around town, this is the only safe place. Thank you. Good morning. Professor Clark, I presume? Greetings. Yes, I am Charles Clark. Professor, I will get straight to the point. We have reason to believe that you are involved in the murders of Claudia Perret and Helmut Grass. What is the meaning of this? I demand an explanation. We found ancient Hindu markings on the bodies, and your book was found at the crime scene. So what? Anna, tell him this is a mistake. Gentlemen, please calm down. Professor, would you look at the markings? Do you recognize this symbol, Professor? Yes, but... But what? It's a Hindu symbol, yes, but it has nothing to do with me. I am an expert in Vedism. This symbol belongs to the Shaivist sect. It has nothing to do with Vedism. What do you mean? Vedism and Shaivism are not the same religion. They are from different periods of time and different parts of India. How do we know you're not lying, Professor? Check my book. The symbols in my book look nothing like the markings on the body. Anna, could you get the book from my office? Here's the key to open the cupboard. Great! I found the box key! Found the box key. Great, I found Walter's book. Look, here it is. Turn to page 59. It shows all the Vedas symbols. He's right. These symbols look nothing like the ones found on Helmut's body. But maybe they match the ones on Claudia. Let's check her body. More 
are Shaivist symbols. But what does it mean? These symbols look too modern to have any ritualistic significance. Whoever is responsible for this has absolutely no idea what they are doing. Could someone have left these markings to frame Professor Clark? Now why would anyone want to do that? That's what we need to find out. I would like to check the bar again. Great! I found a coded message. Anna, have you found anything? I found something. What is it? It appears to be a strange code sequence. This looks like nothing I've ever seen. This was probably written by Helmut before he got killed. Did you find anything else? It looks like he was trying to cover up his tracks. Until someone caught up with him. But who killed him? May I ask where you found the dagger used to kill them? I found it in the antique shop. Well, it is a fake. What do you mean? This knife is a Kurpan, one of two ceremonial Sikh daggers. Legend says two brothers fought with them some 500 years ago. The originals are priceless. Look at the metal. This is just a good copy. Interesting. Let's visit the antique shop. What happened here? What is it? Someone was here. It's impossible. The owner is out of town, and the only key is in the station. Any signs of forced entry? None. The door is unbroken. It seems the killer had a key. But how? Could the culprit have left any clues?
Wait, I found a cipher machine. I think I know what to do. Let me put all the pieces on the table. Let's see. Well, it looks like a decipher machine. I will write out the second line of the decoded message. says they want to kill you run just as i thought all is clear now let's get some fresh air and i will tell you what happened gentlemen mr helmet grass and mrs claudia perret were victims of their own game anna what do you mean helmet and claudia were accomplices they were planning to kidnap Professor Clark and force him to work for the Nazi party. Claudia was responsible for the execution of the operation, while Helmut kept in touch with headquarters. 
They communicated using mirrors and a secret variation of Morse code. Claudia would signal Helmut and he would contact headquarters. But the snowstorm halted their plan. What happened to them? Well, the code I deciphered was the final signal Helmut wanted to send to Claudia, but she did not receive it. Unable to reach her, Helmut telephoned the hotel. I answered the phone, and he left a message for Claudia saying that the plan had changed. What was the message? The note warned Claudia that as she had failed in her mission, headquarters had sent an assassin to eliminate her. She needed to run. Does that mean the assassin was one of the hotel guests? No. How can this be? You mentioned that the police force had backup from the city for the murder case. Yes? Well, I think the assassin posed as a policeman. The city police thought he was one of yours, and you thought that he was one of the city police. While you were gathering evidence, he took some of Professor Clark's things and tried to frame him for the murders. That explains Walter's book. He thought it was mine. He had full access to the keys for the prison cells and the antique shop, which meant stealing the daggers and entering Claudia's cell was particularly easy. But where is he now? He must have cut the power in town to get rid of the evidence. Those were his footsteps I heard yesterday. He must have escaped after that. Unbelievable. I can assure you, Professor, you are safe. And what about Claudia and Helmut? Claudia and Helmut were victims of their own complicated and dangerous plot. It led them to murder, and then they were murdered. Well, I couldn't have solved this case by myself. Thank you, Anna. If you are ever in town again, come visit me. I will, but I hope it will be in better circumstances. Take care. Have a safe trip, Anna.